subscribed to Melanated Fathers TV, do that right now. If you haven't subscribed to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube, do that right now. If you're listening to the show on a digital platform, uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Overcast, uh, Google Podcasts, all these different places, click uh, 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 download the episode, of course, but please leave a review. Leave a review. Leave a review. Leave a review. Even if you think I should, even if you think there is something I can be doing differently, leave a review. Leaving a review raises the algorithms, um, so I'll be able to reach more people. You know what I mean? So if you're listening to this on a digital platform, please leave a review, like it, share it. If you're listening to it on YouTube, please um. Um, subscribe to my YouTube page, like the video, share the video. If you're listening to this on Facebook, please make sure you share the video. Go to Melanated Fathers TV on Facebook, like that page, share that page as well. Let's go. Now, this is something I just found today that I thought was interesting. I know this information, but, you know, I love history, y'all. I want to make sure my black people is aware. You know what I mean? Let's go. So, many of us call... A black person who uh, does not mean us any good or a black person who will sell us out um, for, a, for a white counterpart, you know what I mean? Many of us, or a coon, a black man we call a coon, who obviously uh, speaks negatively about us for a paycheck or obviously puts himself in a situation where he has a he has influence and he uses that influence to shit on black people sometimes not even given the real facts you know what i mean so we have a lot of people a lot of black men in our society who exhibit this behavior and again in my opinion like i've always told everybody if we're talking real revolution if we're talking black people standing melanated people standing up the way we need to to fight this system if that's going to happen the members of our community who or on the fence, the members of our community who obviously don't want to ride with us and are on the fence so at any time they can turn on us. At any time, they may think the, 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 the grass is greener somewhere else and they'll fuck us over. Anybody who does that, we need to get rid of them first. All, most, every slave, and, and, and I, really, I reiterate this because it's important and it's true. Every slave re revolt that was forted was done so by a snitch was done so by a black person who felt that the fucked up conditions they were in were good enough and they were scared they don't want to rock the boat they want to get a butter biscuit like that's a real thing i'm saying butter biscuit but they would give them hot biscuits when they <laughs> they would give them hot biscuits when they told on one of us you know what i mean so it's important that we identify those individuals and figure out ways to get rid of them because again haiti 1804, successful slave revolt. They went against, I think, the French, the British. Don't quote me on that. But they went against white armies and was very successful, right? Got their liberation. One of the reasons why Haiti is treated the way it's treated now, and they cut off all of their trading and things of this nature because of how effective they were in 1804. And one of the first things they did was they got rid of all the snitches. So, food for thought, right? So, when it comes to open, uh, when it comes to Uncle Tom, hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, so most black folks have heard or used the term Uncle Tom when referring to a sellout or someone we feel is tap dancing for attention and, and acceptance of other races. It has always been used in a derogatory manner to infer that this was the type of person who cozied up to his slave master. But did you know that the inference in, um, that the inference was totally wrong. So uh, using Uncle Tom as a negative attribute is actually the wrong thing. So in in essence, in, in, in truth, like true history, Uncle Tom was actually a man who refused to beat black women. Uncle Tom was a man who refused to tell on other slaves. Uncle Tom was a man who put cotton in other slaves' bags at night so they wouldn't get beat. Uncle Tom was a man who helped 100 slaves get freed long before the Underground Railroad, right? So this brother was actually a writer. Uncle Tom was a man that once free established the first laborer school for other fugitive slaves. Now, his name was actually Josiah Henson. Josiah Henson was an author abolitionist a minister he was born into slavery um 
Port Tobacco, Charles County, Maryland. He escaped to Upper Canada in 1830 and founded a settlement and laborer school for other fugitive slaves at dawn near Dresden in Kent County, Upper, Upper Canada of British Canada. So we have to understand that, um, you know, we need to stop calling each other Uncle Toms. And maybe some of you guys have known this, but information like this is, to me, is just interesting to know. But it's important that we get these terms correct, right? And, and learn history so we can create a different perspective. The actual name, um, so Uncle Tom is actually a compliment. Who would, uh, who would have thought it, right? So in, in, in actuality, Sambo was the sellout. He would do anything for the slave master's approval. Um, he would snitch on his peers. Um, just to get a data boy from his slave master, right? So, Sambo is what you should call a nigga <laughs> who don't mean our community no good. Not Uncle Tom. And I wasn't going to talk about that, but that's just cool to me. You know what I mean? So, tell everybody that. Make sure everybody's aware of that. Don't use Uncle Tom no more. <laughs> he was a right.